Hello, everyone, and welcome to the CNT semi-annual auctions. The CNT auctions are held twice a year in order to help raise funds for the Carilion tradition. Now, we rely on our bidders as well as our donors. Everything that you're gonna see here and that's up for auction on eBay is items that were donated by our, our friends, our members, and just those that uh, like to give. Okay, but first what I wanted to cover is uh, those of you who participated last fall, which was our first opportunity to use eBay. Uh, we had a fantastic auction for the first 12 days. And then if you were following it, uh, you found that things started to go awry. And in fact, after the first 12 days, we had had such tremendous outpouring of bidding. Uh, we did very well, but suddenly eBay discontinued all the remaining auctions that were set to run for another 10 to 12 days. And after many hours and much, uh, uh, much time on my part trying to figure out what it was, no one could really tell me what happened, what went wrong, why our auctions were being removed. Not once, not twice, but three times they halted the auctions. And as we all were living through the pandemic at that time, the people, the support people that I called, they went off and uh, they were working from home and they really didn't have the the knowledge in place within a central organization. So, you know, as it turned out, we muddled through it uh, from the very first time they took us down to when we finally ended the auctions, maybe almost 25 days later. Uh, it probably cost us in, in very aggressive bidding four or $500. And on reflection, I thought, well, maybe eBay isn't the way, although I've been using eBay for years as a seller, as well as a buyer. Uh, I finally, after looking into all the situation, I found out that what had happened is somewhat was caused by me. Since the auctions were going to supposedly span a 22 day period, I wanted to offer our bidders the opportunity to combine items. So if they were bidding on things that ended after the first 10 days, 11 days, 12 days, they were like rotating last year. Uh, I thought, well, they're bidding on something that ends in four days or at the end of the 10 days, whenever it was, I said, well, here, I'll hold everything together. And that way you can combine everything in the mailing. Well, the computer logic of eBay, they looked at that as these, here these people have bid on items, they've paid for the items, but this seller is not shipping it. So they took me down. And when I called and they allowed me to put everything back up, they didn't know why I was taken down, but it was only after a lot of uh, reflection on my part, why and how this could happen. I realized that eBay wants to protect you as a bidder, as a buyer. And so when they see someone selling items, auctions closing, people paying for the auctions, and they're not getting mailed. They figured scammer. So, and, and eBay has that a lot. There are a lot of people on there that come in, swoop in, try and make a quick buck and then get out. But we are not a scammer. We are true, truly here. So that was our problems. And for that reason, once I understood what happened this year, our auction is gonna run just for 10 days. We'll have 50 plus items all available for that 10 day period. And at the end of it, I would send out combined invoices for people that have uh, purchased multiple items and basically get it done. Anything unsold, I'll start another group, but I won't be holding back on shipping or sending invoices for that very reason. So that is my story, my story of woe from last year. And now I just want us to move forward and I believe we're gonna have a great auction. Many, many items have come in, but first, if you haven't registered for the Carillion Lustration this weekend, please do so by going to carillionlustration.com where you can uh, see all the schedule of what's coming up. 
uh, in order to participate. The registration is right there at the top of the page. And uh, we hope that you will join us for the whole weekend. Uh, again, my gratitude to uh, the donors for what you're going to be seeing, as well as uh, for you bidders out there. You are always so generous and we appreciate it. Now, I'd like to start off with the type of items that we have. You'll see a wide range of items. And what I'm using to kick off the auction is a very hard to find out of print book, The Witch School Living the Wiccan Life. This book uh, is currently out of print. If you go on to eBay or Amazon or any of the secondary sites, you will see it has a very, very high price. This, I'm, I'm calling it used, but it's pristine. So that is the start. That's the first item in our auction. And for those of you who've been wanting to get this, here's an opportunity. And we also have some items for the altar. We have a nice steel candlestick here with a sun emblazoned on it. This was, uh, by the way, the, that last book, that was an anonymous donation. Uh, this candlestick was donated by Diane, Reverend Diane Rogel from Pennsylvania. And it's, it's a nice sturdy. It'd be great for your altar. It has the image of the sun on it and uh, would make a very nice item to burn your fabulous candles in. Now, one other thing, I'm so pleased that uh, our tea time with Pammy and my Linda, they sent in some merchandise. And here we have a t-shirt, t-shirt with their, their uh, image. This was uh, created by one of the uh, member's daughter who did the drawing for this. So this is a uh, extra large. All this description is in the auction anyway, so you don't have to write it down or something. But if you're interested in the works of these ladies, Tea Time, they, they have a regular program. You can catch them on YouTube, Magic TV, uh, and on Blog Talk Radio. Uh, just type in for search tea time. That's how I was able to find them and make sure that they were there. Uh, and they they discuss regularly the Sabbaths, rituals, uh, different herbs. And so stop by, listen to them or watch them and uh, let them spill some tea. So that's it. A cup and a t-shirt, they go together. We also have... A nice magical potion bot bottle distributed by our first priest, uh, donated by the first priestess. Uh, it's a glass, uh, somewhat purple glass bottle with a screw on stopper that can be used for potions or, hey, put in your favorite perfume in there. It's a beautiful, solid, heavy glass bottle encased in metal. Now, what you'll find when you go through the auctions is we have had many, many pieces of jewelry donated. This is one, it's a single strand necklace that can be gold or even tripled possibly. Uh, it's called Blues, it's brand new, it's in this packaging. But of course, everything that I say is new in packaging. I had to remove it from the packaging in order to do this, but it is a necklace and a, a necklace and bracelet together. And that is from Stour. That's an online, they have a website. I, I went and checked it out. This, the price, regular retail, retail price or suggested price was $195 and they were selling it for $59.95. You can get a great deal on that. Now, of course, we wouldn't be pagans if we didn't think tarot as a, as a means of divination. And we have a new unused Tarot of the Witches. Now, um, these are have been opened. I happen to run a, this is donated 
by myself, uh, the portal store on eBay. And uh, in order for me to take pictures and show potential customers what things look like, I have to open up a pack. And so once I open it up, you know, people want to get a seal pack untouched by hands and all that. I, you can cleanse it and you can purify it all that you want, but it's a good opportunity to get a deal. We have the Tarot of Witches, the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot, and basically someone came along and did some recoloring on the original Rider Weight Smith deck. So, and also Pride Tarot. This is a, collab a collaboration of many different artists who came together, together to create a deck that honors LGBTQ community. Uh, it was all done as a uh, collaboration. And uh, you'll recognize probably some of the art of some of the contributors in there, but this is a great deck. Uh, here again, it's new, unused, but opened. And the last tarot deck we have was a donation of the Witchy Tarot. Now, I'm pretty sure this is out of print and hard to find, so our tarot collectors might be very interested in that. Uh, it might actually be sold now as Teen Witch. That's a possibility, but it's in a different box, a different printing. Uh, probably has a different card backing on it. But these, uh, check out the auction page, you'll see some examples of the cards. And moving along, I have a beautiful pendulum. This is a uh, rainbow moonstone. This was donated by Jack's Minerals and Crystals. They, oh, there we go. They have a, a regular uh, trunk show that they broadcast live on Facebook uh, twice a week. They're uh, a great bunch of people. They have some beautiful things. But I guarantee if you go in the shop, bring your wallet because you're going to love a lot of stuff they have. But they do donated a number of items for last year's auctions as well as here. And uh, this is a pendulum. Beautiful set with a uh, white metal and, uh, trims. Here again, as I said, all of our Items are new, the jewelry. This is a Betsy Johnson oh, earring set. Oh, let me see here. There we go. Has a lot of, uh, I guess they're rhinestones or crystals, a uh, deep dark blue. It's sort of a leaf pattern. The, the longer ones are a leaf. And the pictures will be much better in the auction site. Just as I showed you what I, you could call an official pendulum earlier, this is a what I call a caged glass ball in a chain with a long, a long uh, necklace to put around your neck. But just think, you could actually, when wearing this, uh, if you feel led to do some divination, you can just pull this out and it'll work just as well as a pendulum. So although this is a necklace, you may say, hey, I want that for my pendulum. It's really neat. It's encased uh, in metal. Uh, it's loose. It's like, a, it's like a locked into a cage. And can it's a faceted crystal ball or glass ball. Here again, I don't know all the specifics of the materials. It's not plastic. It feels like glass or crystal. That was one of the donations from Lady Lou. She's a very avid supporter of the auctions each year. And here we have a number of earrings. These are a pair of stud earrings that have blue and clear stones. Uh, they're from uh, that company, the same as the blue beads uh, bracelet and necklace, and it's the Stour Company. It's really quite nice. Um, I'm not able to perfectly 
photograph jewelry because it's so small and the camera I use just doesn't have this type of settings that you can get a real feel for it. But this is quality. It is a quality type earring. Uh, uh, whether I, I don't think that they're real sapphires and diamonds, uh, they're likely uh, close approximation. Okay. Uh, and here's a little cute, it's a little dolphin. This is, uh, this is pictured j Jasper. And it's a piece that's been uh, cut into the shape of a dolphin. It would make a cute little addition to your altar. It could represent water. It could represent the qualities of a dolphin on your, on your altar. And that was uh, another item donated by Jack's Minerals and Crystals. Your place to go for a trunk show and they handle all types of uh, mailing. You just take care of it. You chat in their chat room, uh, right on Facebook really. And uh, by the end of the night, they'll keep all your stuff together and send you a bill for a uh, payment. Uh, here we have another pair of stud earrings. These I call globe because the faceted stones in there, the clear stones, are set up in the form of a globe so that basically when they're in your ear, they're not just flat against your ear, but they're, they're globes. That, they're uh, very, very pretty, nice and sparkly. You can't really get that uh, from how I'm showing them, but definitely they, uh, they do sparkle. One of my favorite type items is the crystal ball. This is similar to what you saw before with the uh, cage, what I call the cage crystal ball, faceted crystal ball. But this is a uh, creation by My Mystic Gems, our good friend to the tradition, Marianne Kay. And she uh, sent this in as a donation. It's available on her website. She, she has a, a store on Etsy. And uh, you can go there and pay the full price, support Mary Ann Kay, or get into a bidding battle here. Here again, she likes to refer to this as a divination tool for when you're on the go. You have it around your neck, something comes up, you need to work with a pendulum. There you go. It's nice and handy. Now here's a piece that will really that really makes a statement, I'd say. It is a collar necklace. It's new with tags. Everything we have here, unless I say otherwise, is new. Uh, this has the tags on it, 4950. And it's a uh, just an assortment of different colored beads. And uh, there's some metal spacing, spacing type, uh, well, e jewelry makers would know what it's like. This is a uh, pretty heavy. Uh, the back of it, you can see all the integration of the chain, sort of like chain mail, uh, that was necessary in order to uh, put all this together. And it comes with a, it's a lobster claw closure, adjustable. So uh, get it right where you want it and make that statement in blue. That was a donation from Diane Lavandowski, uh, someone who's donated many of the jewelry pieces, same as this one, a cuff bracelet in a uh, running knot type pattern. It is mm, stainless, I believe it is. Let me just check my notes here. Yes, stainless steel, very nice. It has an antique look within the design pattern. And, ooh, Hellsberg Diamonds. We have a solitary necklace with a silver chain, sterling silver chain. Now, I'm pretty sure when you say Hellsberg, and it's in a Hellsberg Diamonds box, is that this is a uh, cubic zirconium. I would expect. 
and it, it is beautiful. It has a really nice dainty chain to it. So keep in mind that you may not want this for yourself, but these being new in their boxes, they make great gifts. So uh, think of birthdays coming up, graduations, uh, you'll, <laughs> you know, plan ahead. Why not? For the prices, you can't beat it. We also have a series of books. Uh, the Crowian tradition has been blessed with a number of authors. And besides the uh, witch school book I show later, Living the Wiccan Life, Stephanie, first priestess of the tradition, has donated her the first book she had published, uh, Untraining of the Sea Priestess. You can get this signed as well as inscribed to you if you so desire. That's available. Another one of our Corellian authors is Reverend John Anastasio, High Priestess. And this is basically uh, reclaiming your sacred reclaiming your sacred path. This was an offshoot of his second degree project that he took, he had it as a secondary project, and then afterwards he expanded on it and he went uh, further into his dissertation. John is very active in the tradition and uh, he has donated that book. And there again, it, can, it will be signed and uh, inscribed if you choose. And then here we have uh, Stephanie's second book. Uh, Lady Stephanie uh, basically developed the Discovery Path Tarot. It's a new approach to dealing with uh, the Tarot deck. And it, it, it focuses on the keys, uh, certain keys within the Rate Wider Smith deck. And she uh, created a, a method where it aids the reader to read for themselves by using the keys and somewhat like creating a deck within a deck. It's very good. Uh, it's one of the uh, one of the sections of the Indigo Door teachings in the Korean tradition of uh, Discovery Tarot Path. So there again, it can be inscribed, but it will definitely be signed by Stephanie. And then we have some other books. These were donated uh, through Llewellyn. Myth, the Mythic Moon, Moons of Avalon. This is brand new. Uh, these books were received by me from uh, promotion in Llewellyn uh, because I had a uh, pagan uh, no, <laughs> shine, pagan shine, uh, blog talk radio program for a while and uh, after it stopped they still continued to send books so in a sense Llewellyn is donating these to our auction of course you know Llewellyn they put out many metaphysical books as well as uh, oh, a wide wide range of tarot decks and here's another one from them what is remembered lives now on the auction uh, because I put in the ISBN it gives you some background on what the book is all about. I won't take the time to discuss it here, but the uh, eBay site links up to uh, information about the book, giving you some you know, background, just what is it all about? What is the book? You don't want to know before you buy. You know, you can't, even though I photographed this on the uh, auction page, you can't read it from there, but the information will be below. And lastly, we have Hedge Druidry. Okay, and that's by Joanna van der Hoeven. And here again, it's a brand new, unread, unused book uh, from Luella. This one has a $21.99 price tag, suggested retail. So that's the books. We have one other book. I might as well get that out of the way now. And that is Echoes of the Ancient Skies. And this is a book, uh, The Astronomy of Lost Civilizations. It's, it, this is a used book. Uh, I came across this somehow. And uh, so <laughs> it's up for auction. 
But if you're interested in early civilizations, stuff like that, I think this could interest you. And we have a single DVD set up for auction. Uh, this is Endangered Civilizations. Uh, and it's all cultures in crisis. It's a five DVD set uh, in the US Canada format. So uh, you wouldn't want to buy this from overseas. Uh, unused is brand new. It comes in a tin with a or like a book that unfolds with five discs inside of it. Oh, and we have a, a donation from Reverend Phoenix Coffin Williams. High Priestess, uh, High Priest, I'm sorry. Sorry, Phoenix. Uh, this is the Shaman Oracle. The Shaman's Oracle, it's an Oracle cards are ancient wisdom and guidance. And it has a lift off top with a, a nice, the cards are in this slide here and a book, hardback book right here. And there's even a uh, spread, a paper spreadsheet uh, to use for laying out of cards in order to use for divination. That is uh, used, has little bumps around the edges, uh, but still very usable. Now getting back to our jewelry pieces, this I call a charm cluster necklace. It has basically a, a white metal chain and all the uh, hanging chains uh, have things attached to them. There's hearts, there's a crystal ball, a feather, a key, and there's actually two chains on there that you can add your own charms. So. And that was donated by Lady Low. Oh, and another pair of stud earrings. These are Hellsberg diamonds again, which I assume are silver with cubic zirconium inside. These are solitaire with a sort of like a wire loop going around them, but they're a single stone from Hellsberg. New, new in box. From our friends in uh, Gax, Minerals and uh, Crystals, Crystals and Minerals. We have a black tourmaline wire wrapped stone. This was, my guess was either wrapped by Miranda or Katie, but it is very good. And it comes with a black cord to hang around your neck. You can size it yourself and it's all, all brand new. This one, I had a hard time taking it out of the package and putting it back in. So I'm just going to show you. You can see the picture on the webs on the auction. But it's a uh, rhinestone encrusted butterfly set inside a circle. It's a necklace. And it comes with two silver metal hoop earrings. It's a set, what I call new on card. When I get it this way as a donation, it's a new on card, even though I've removed it to take photographs. Believe me, it's unused. Then we have a couple more different pieces of jewelry. And here we have a goddess doll. Uh, a goddess ring. It's the face has been carved into a red variegated stone and complemented with red, red crystals, red stones. Uh, there's no price tag on this. Oh, yes, sir. No, it's a size eight. It's a size eight. I'm assuming that the, uh, the red stones are like red crystals, synthetic. That's all I can represent it as. 
That's a size eight. And we also have a K Jewelers ring. This is a pearl ring in sterling silver setting with sort of like an interwoven design. This is also a size eight, K Jewelers. New inbox. So there again, keep in mind if you don't, if you're not shopping for jewelry, maybe uh, someone in your family has a birthday or a special day coming up. They have another bracelet. This is like what we call a cuff bracelet with the image of a bear on it that also has maple leaves and egg corns. I captured that in my photographs on in the auction, so you should be good with that. Let's see just how detailed the uh, embossing is. And it has two snaps, so it can be sized for a thinner wrist. Uh, the size and dimensions are all listed on the website. Once you say, oh, I need that, I really need that. And pendulums that serve as necklaces have been a hot item this year. This is actually a lidded. You have a container here that you could put in herbs or ashes for that special remembrance. Uh, it has an angel on the front. And I would imagine this is uh, some type of white metal. I won't suggest that it's silver. There is a name of the designer in the cap, but very tiny writing. And a guy my age just can't see that stuff is good. So, and it's on a black cord. And here again, it can be a necklace that can also serve as a pendulum if you need it on the go or even in the privacy of your own home. Just use it and get use it for divination. And here we have a pair of onyx. It's an onyx ring, black onyx with tags and a matching earring, some black onyx with a nice spiral look to it. Let's see if you can see that all right. Mm -hmm. Photographs are much better <laughs> with this site where I uh, have them holding still. This is a donation from Diane Lewandowski. Uh, the, the, this ring is adjustable. It isn't welded together or set together at the top there, so that is adjustable. And next we have a I think I'm saying it right, hematite rest, uh, necklace and bracelet with some added white beading. This is non-magnetic. It is great for protection and for clearing negative energy. So bracelet and necklace set. One of our bigger items this year, is a hand knitted afghan. This is in purple and white. Uh, I originally thought of it as uh, a, a wave pattern, but I understand that uh, maybe the proper term is zigzag. Uh, but it's very nice. It has scalloped edges. Uh, it's twin size and it's made of uh, washable acrylic yarn. And it is new, unused. That was donated by Diane Lewandowski. She is sort of a, I would say, a Afghan collector. She's been uh, many times the winner of uh, Afghans that have been presented before in our auctions. We're getting near the end, so hang in there with me, folks. Here we have a set of two soaps, almond and blemish bar. So all natural, organic and a beeswax lotion in uh, lemon and verbena. Uh, you'll see on the website, on the auction page, uh, I, I grabbed a picture off of their website that shows 
what the bar looks like inside. It's a really nice molded B design on it. Very cute. And the person who donated this, uh, Lady Lo, she just loves this so much. This particular uh, lotion bar is what she really says is just superb. So treat yourself. You've been locked down for 13 months and maybe it's time that you just want to use some luxurious natural soaps to uh, chase away the blues of being locked down. We also have a uh, oil, uh, oil warmer candle. It's a two pieces. Oops, upside down, okay. Has a nice pinnacle pentagram since it is sort of encased, the design. And this is, this is used, but very clean, no chips or anything. And I believe this would be what you call a soapstone. You set your tea light, maybe even a bottle candle back there, and it will show through the uh, pentagram design as well as the stars that are cut into this throughout. Very nice, priced right to sell. And I believe this is our last item that we have. This was donated by uh, Reverend Phoenix Coffin Williams, high priest. And this is, let me get this right. This is a uh, figure image of Azuli Frida Dahomey, the goddess of love. And uh, basically it origin, its origin is in Benin, Africa, or Benin, Africa and uh, the love goddess of Haitian voodoo spirits. So this is uh, from him, a personal item from his altar that he is has offered up uh, for someone out there who wants to add this to their altar. So that pretty much uh, is everything that I have right now. Uh, there are a number of items I still want to get listed. I will be doing that. Uh, over the next day or so. This was pre-recorded, if you haven't guessed, to go live on uh, the start of the illustration of the ancestors on April 30th. So I look forward to uh, seeing your bids come in. It will run for 10 days, as I said before. Uh, and I, I just appreciate all the support we've received in the past. And I hope that we'll get more so hey if you like this video give it a thumbs up hit the like button and if you want to follow me you have to wait about six months before i do another one so so uh enjoy the weekend and enjoy bidding thank you very much and uh be well be safe and get vaccinated if you haven't already so that we can start a new normal